Hello, Calvary family, and thank you for joining us again for the recap, recap, recap. Uh, we skipped a week uh, for various reasons, and so we have a lot to recap. So here we go. We're going to jump right in and talk about the last two weeks. So, yes. Pastor Stewart, uh, we had a guest uh, yes, about two weeks, two weeks ago. Yes, two weeks ago. Yeah, uh, two weeks ago this coming Sunday, um, Pastor Trey Rhodes from Northwood Baptist Church in North Charleston, South Carolina, a childhood friend of mine. Um, he is now, they call him there the Connections Pastor, which means he's trying to connect their uh, guest into their church. Um, and how, what does that look like? And for him, that covers uh, into Sunday school and other groups uh, and, and things like that. So he came to help us uh, to improve our greeting, and I got to implement one part of that the very next week. So that was neat. Cool. Yeah, one of his... Um I remember one of his lines, which is worth gold, right. was, uh, how long have you been here at Calvary? Yes. That's just how so helpful. You, how long have you been attending? Yeah, how Calvary. long have you been attending? And, hey, if you're watching this and you don't usually greet, you see somebody you don't know, say, hey, how long have you been attending yeah. Calvary? Very friendly, non-confrontational yes. kind of thing. All right, um, big thing in the news is... Afghanistan. Yeah, Afghanistan. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, and, and uh, we, we won't talk politics because we just need to go from where we are to where we need to be. and. It uh, doesn't look like we're going to get to do that, uh, so we need to be praying. Um, a lot of people converted to Christianity when the when we went to war there, because when the doors open like that, missionaries yeah, follow. Um, now the tragedy is that those who even did not, even those who stayed into the national religion of Islam, but they were friendly and helpful to our forces, are now mm -hmm. going to be killed or tortured or threatened in that way at least. Kind of guilty by association. Yeah. Anybody to convert to Christianity, missionaries are stranded there, Amer and not at the airport, they're somewhere hiding in country. Mm -hmm. um, the Taliban will be searching for them, and all these people are now completely in danger. And um, Yeah, shelter in place. Oh, I, when I heard that, I thought, like, hide is what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, that's what that is. Nice Run and that. hide. And hiding never works, especially for... Uh, you know, uh, as a friend of mine said, you don't go swim in the ocean because that's the shark's living room. You know, they're they're in their house now, and mm -hmm. so a, a, a stranger there is not going to know how to hide as well. So, as how can we pray for folks? We well, we we need to pray for a lot of things, and the bigger things you probably understand just politically and militarily, um, because none of that seems to be going to happening the way it needs to, but. Just be praying for our brothers and sisters who are suffering and persecuted and are dying. Um, and those who are not our brothers and sisters, uh, though we wouldn't want anyone to suffer, uh, and we wouldn't want our brothers and sisters to suffer, at least our brothers and sisters in Christ, mm -hmm. um, they, they're they going to get a special reward in heaven if they die there. Um, but, uh, but at the same time, um, a lot of innocent people who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ are going to be killed. Yeah. And that's, that is the biggest tragedy out of all of this mm -hmm. that um, people maybe we couldn't get to didn't have opportunity whatever uh, it's a mess I can I find myself getting a little overwhelmed if I keep reading the news so yeah. no, uh, I, I would recommend so folks take a break from the news for yeah. a day or two really yeah. it, it you won't miss it you'll miss it for about an hour but after that if it's big you know, enough your neighbors will say hey did you hear about someone that? will come and tell you yeah, yeah. Um, but on a positive note Yes. Uh, back to school. Kids uh, are in county, school, in county. person. They have to wear a mask, which, you know, uh, we won't do that politically either, but, um, but it at came least with a, they're in school. But it came with a price. Yes. And now we're seeing that. So right. we see a rise in COVID-19 numbers. Yeah. And, and it's the new variant. And uh, we, you know, I guess, I don't know if the whole country had amnesia at the very beginning. I'm like, it's a virus. It's going to mutate even if they get a vaccine. So, because we know that we've never cured the common cold because it wasn't worth it, that make you that sick. Um, I understand that COVID is a bad flu and people die. People die of all kinds of flus. Um, is this one worse? Maybe. Uh, there's some comorbidities you may not have time to fix uh, that, that, that are, are under our control, but uh, I, I, family, friends have had it and uh, family and friends. Um, and it is tough and mm -hmm. you know um, just the vaccine I, I actually got the vaccine yes mm -hmm. I'm putting that out there I yeah. got the vaccine I and um, the the reaction to that was tough um, but it was short-lived and I've been told yeah that actually does help so right and if um, but that's do, me yeah even yeah. if you catch a variant it seems to lessen the time and the right. severity of symptoms so right. I'm not advocating you get the shot I'm advocating you consider that and be and wise decide yeah be wise 
All right, so here we go. That was our five minutes. We have a timer here now. You all yes. can't see it. And we did it almost in five minutes. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm very impressed. <laughs> so, um, Pastor Stewart, in yes. one minute or less, what in the world Ooh. happened in Chapter 19, but not the end of Chapter 19? Yes. Uh, well, what we covered in 19, which is about three-fourths of it, um, Abraham gets a visit by Jesus and two angels at his at his home place there in the Oaks of Mamre. Um, uh, they... Abraham is hospital to him. Um, the leader, who we find out is Jesus, um, asked where is Sarah? Because in 18, he told Abraham to tell her this, change mm -hmm. her name. He made promises to her that usually would not be promised to a woman. And in a sense, it's almost like he shows up to say, I don't trust that you did this. Let me tell her. Mm. But she's standing behind the tent wall behind him when he says, where is Sarah? And he says, she's in the tent. And he says, well, in a year, she's going to have your baby. Mm -hmm. And she laughed. A laughter and he of went, disbelief. And, yeah. and the Bible, yeah. it says she laughed in her heart, not even loud. And he said, it's almost like, you, you know, hey, you, you know somebody's back there and they don't know you know. It's almost like turned his head back there and went, uh, why'd you laugh, Sarah? I, I didn't laugh. Oh, yeah, you laughed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we have that. So after all that happens, um, the next morning, they come out, and the two with Jesus. You got about thirty angels, seconds, so here we go. They're headed towards Sodom and Gomorrah, and Jesus asks out loud, or in his mind, the question: Should we, talking about the Trinity, withhold from Abraham what we're about to do? And the obviously the answer of the Trinity was uh, no. Let's tell him, because he is going to be the father of this nation that brings us Jesus. Is there? talking to his first ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, about his, y'all you, got to have a baby because i got to come into this world. And he describes what's going to happen to Sodom and Gomorrah, and Abraham begins to pray, gets it down to ten people. That's not enough. The angels go in. They have to drag Lot out. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll talk about that yeah, in a second. Um, yeah, that's right, because that was last week's sermon. So yep. uh, so that's kind of where we, where we are. So we'll talk about that now. Okay. Well, that, that was a little bit more than a minute, but we're working on it. Um, what stood out to me in chapter 19 was Lot's terrible witness. <laughs> he was a witness. Yes. But he was a terrible witness. Right. There are the men of the city who turn against him. I'm not sure they were ever with him. Right. Um, there are his sons-in-law who think he's a joke. There's this frustration that you can kind of hear from the angels. I know, that's weird. Uh, frustration from angels? Uh, yeah. I think so. And he was not able to leave his family out because he didn't want to leave either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then um, you, you read in this, verse 16, he lingered. And yes. then there's tremendous mercy. It even says, because the Lord was merciful, or something like yeah. that. The angels took him, took him by the hand and dragged him out. Right. It was amazing. Only four people to leave, Lot, his wife, and his two daughters. His yeah. son-in-law, as he told them what was going to happen, they laughed at him. Um, it says they thought him as a joke, and uh, what, the way he was saying it was a joke. His wife, once they do get out, she looks longingly back at... That's where her heart was, yeah, was in Sodom. Sodom. Yeah, her, her heart had gotten there. Um, Lot, uh, and the testimony of the Bible about Lot, of God about Lot, is he's a righteous man. What does that mean? It means that he, he trusted God to some degree, mm -hmm. and it doesn't. There's no evidence he ever quit doing that. But he's a modern way of saying it is like he's trying to keep one foot in sin and one foot in righteousness, mm -hmm. um, because the world appealed to him so much, and mm -hmm. that's why Jesus taught very plainly: you can't love God and the world system. You mm -hmm. just can't. Right. They're they're enemies of each other. And uh, it doesn't mean we are enemies of the world system, but the world system never leads us to grace, is how the hymn writer put it. Right. Um, it's not, it, the world is not a friend of God to lead us on to grace. So in, in trying to become important, become wealthy, become this big shot, he loses everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what stood out to me again, even though Lot's witness was so poor, that God has mercy. God has mercy. And so I think that has a lot of implications for us now here in Stanton as human beings yes. 2,000, more than 2,000 years, it's like 4,000 years right. um, later, that um, God is tremendously merciful toward us. Right. And that you and I would be amazed <clears throat> at that mercy <clears throat> shows that somewhere deep in even our psyche, I'll use the word, is that 
mercy is still deserved. Yeah. And mercy it's not, it's mercy and grace are gifts. Right. Grace is getting what we don't deserve, a good thing that we don't deserve. Mercy is not getting the bad thing we did deserve. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, uh, I'm just saying, again, we think we have to earn mercy, but mercy, mm -hmm. the nature of mercy is you're getting something. Yeah. That you it's did. not a wage. Mercy yeah. is not a wage. You're not getting what you did. Yeah. The, you're not getting the punishment you deserve for your actions. Right. Um, Lot suffered enough just by his own his own stupidity created his own suffering, mm -hmm. but but God's righteous judgment on his sinful actions or his sin, we see mitigated that he's rescued from yeah. Sodom. Um, it, yeah. Ultimately, put on Jesus. I yeah, mean, yeah, ultimately, wow. yeah. All the sins of Old Testament people yeah. still went on to Jesus. Um, right. The Bible says that God, in the, the the errors of the past, God winked at until the Redeemer would come. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, God said, "Okay, I know that's somebody I'm going to say." Divine forbearance. Yeah, I think it'll ESV be paid. Says, yeah, yeah, he'll be it, it, their sins will be paid for. Mm -hmm. But so God, being God, knows how to work that out. I could I couldn't do a spreadsheet on that, but God, yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing. Well, that brings us to this Sunday. Yeah. Woo Ooh. boy. <laughs> Uh, a delicate topic. Okay, in the in my ESV study Bible uh, or ESV text, it just says Lot and his daughters, and you All read in there left. within one paragraph, you realize, whoa, this is not a bedtime story. So, yes. uh, is this a rated PG thirteen? What are you going to do? This here? is a rated R, <laughs> and that is and that is with uh, blackouts and blurred images. Um, okay. So we won't we won't dwell on that uh, purient mm -hmm. part of that. Um, purient? That's a good word. Purient. Right. He said I know. purient. And I yeah. may have misused it. I was just trying to use big words. Like <laughs> Salacious. Elephant. Yeah. yeah. Hel elephant, hippopotamus, you know, <laughs> big words. Uh, anyway, no. Um, yeah, and, and it is. And, and think about it. Out of lot, out of uh, three, six people, there's three left. Um, and they had to be dragged into that rescue. And in the opening paragraphs, we see that lot is almost forced. It doesn't tell us why there's a lot of stories in the bible that once you really start meditating on them you go yeah i want to know more and you don't mm -hmm. they're they are no longer in zoar they find themselves in a cave not far from in the mountains where the angels told them to go to start with <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so um the speculation and commentaries that i've read uh were that very possibly well this city's about like the last one because it was it was one of the five cities that was supposed to be destroyed and God didn't destroy it just because Lot went there. Um, that was one thing. Another thing is, Lot may have woken up next morning and went, there's nothing left of those other cities, and this one was supposed to go up. Hmm. Maybe it's a delay fuse on this sucker. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. So that's that's not how the commentators put it. They put it in much more nice terms. But that could have been his thinking. But he finds himself in a cave with his two daughters in the mountains. The daughters are concerned that uh, their dad is not going to have any lineage, any, and, you know, wealth and importance is seen in your children. That's mm -hmm. why Abraham's a big deal in those days, um, or would become a big deal. And they do something that's extremely sinful, uh, 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 having physical relationship with a close relative, which the law is not there yet. But even though everybody, way, knew, everybody that knew right. that, it's, 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 right. it's something a little sick here. Mm -hmm. But the Bible, again, about Lot's righteousness, makes it clear in both cases, and he did not know what happened mm -hmm. because they got him drunk. Now you say, well, he shouldn't have drank so much. Oh, yeah. well, there's a sin. <laughs> but he, he did not know, you know, and the question that's come to me later is, when did he look at his daughters and go, y'all are pregnant, how'd that happen? Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if they told him, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But there's a huge twist in this story at the end. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to save that for Sunday. Well, if you read it, you see it's like, that looks like an important plot point. Yes. And, and it has to do with uh, two Their nations that, that come Their out of those Did kids. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 So, um, look, up, look up the names of the children of those daughters and the nations that they produced from those daughters mm -hmm. and how it played into Israel's history in the Exodus. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you get ready. And for that's still somebody. not the biggest plot twist. There's Ooh. more. Yeah. Yeah. And this is loaded. We talked we talk for a long time before. Uh, we press record about this. So yeah. um, you're getting the fruits of that and the yeah. slight summary. So that's it. Um, yeah, and, and one other over thing, uh, overarching thing you were saying is it seems like in all this story of Lot, they're acting in fear. Mm -hmm. 
Um, in, in other words, you, uh, but there was forgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, and the Bible tells us that perfect love casts out fear. And so we walk in the love of God. We don't have to fear the judgment of God. We don't have to fear circumstances. Um, I'm not in Afghanistan. If I were, I'd be extremely afraid. But I also believe that at that moment of, of a Christian um, about to pay that ultimate price in a situation like in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. God gives grace in that moment that, that a common of peace comes over them. And they will know of God's forgiveness. They'll know of his peace. They'll know of his love. And I'm, I'm going to pray for them in that. Um, and I I'm certainly wouldn't condemn anybody that went uh, with fear there. But, um, but in this story of Lot, we see how far God's mercy and forgiveness and help goes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yep. Well, thank you all for joining us for the recap. And uh, we hope to see you Ooh, on Sunday. Fast. Be sure to read the end of chapter 19. Yes. I think it would be a real blessing to you. And uh, it kind of gets you ready and get the terms yeah. that you might not dwell on, but you'll reference with euphemisms. So, right. <laughs> okay. God bless you all. Take yeah. care. Exactly.